Podcast. Wonderful, wonderful stuff for you on today. We have an uplifted and spirit filled show with a special twist. My girl, she's a wonderful woman of God, songstress, a recording artist, songwriter, producer. My gosh, and she goes by the name of Gail Campbell. So let me tell you something just sit back and relax and and get ready for this wonderful interview. But before we go any further on that, I just want to, again, thank you, the listeners, for just coming on and listening on the Tuesday. Um, You don't have to be here, but I praise God. I just thank God that you do on Tuesday supporting me and my show. This show is my show that God has truly blessed me to do. So I just thank you so much to the listeners for just being there and, and, and just lifting me up in prayer. I ask you always to do, and I just want to thank my boy, Jerry Royce, who is on the turn, on the technical aspects, on the back burner, and I love you. Thank you so much just for helping me and believing in me with power or positive power. 21 family, I just thank you just so much for just being there for me, Um, but we got some great stuff. Um, this woman of God is is so anointed. Um, it's just my pleasure to bring her to you on today. What a woman of God! She has an album. Her name, the album's name is Bloody Waters, and uh, she just mm, just incredible. I I had a, a, a the pleasure of speaking with her on the other night, and I tell you what a woman of, of God she is. Uh, she don't do anything without consulting with her Lord and Savior. So, you know, this show is just just really what the doctor has ordered. And I just, again, would just go to the throne of God and just ask him to have his way with this show and to do this with this show what he would have to do. Um, uh, just so that you got an understanding of what my show is all about uh, through Christ who strengthens me. Uh, it's about bridging the gaps. It's, it's about bringing the community together with, with, with the church and, 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 and talking and, and, and to the musicians and, and people of the arts and entertainment business and, and letting them talk to you a little bit about their walk, their spirit walk, um, and the test that took them or brought them to where they are today spiritually, um, with God. And, and it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing because we definitely, we definitely, as a people, we want to come together and, and bridge the gap and, and bring people together and do God's work in the interim. And a lot of folks don't look at the arts as, as viable. And, and I beg to differ. You know, we go out and we minister in song and dance and all those wonderful artsy things. And, you know, um, we bring souls to Christ. Amen. You know, so I, I just want to um, encourage those that feel that, oh, I just love to sing. I love to dance. You know, I, I love to, you know, write music and, and all that wonderful entertainment uh, artsy stuff. 
books. You know, um, I love to draw. You know, I love to just, just I encourage you on today to keep doing those things for the Lord. Um, whatever the gifts are that God has birthed you with, please utilize them to uplift God and his kingdom, making it greater and greater daily as we walk. Um, at this Christian walk, you know? Um, so I just will, uh, again, encourage you, encourage everyone who's listening. You know, th- this is what it's all about. It's about being kingdom people, and it's about giving and, and giving of self and what God has made us to be, just to lift him up a little higher. Praise God. So I just want you to sit back and enjoy this, uh, and 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 we're gonna bring my girl, girl Gail Campbell into the house. Uh, she's got some new music. She's got a new album, and and we're just gonna be loving on her on today because that's what God would have us to do: love on one another. Um, and and again, I just thank you. I thank you, Lord, just for having your way with this show and doing what you do, and and what you do with it on every Tuesday at 9 p.m. So God is good. And, and again, I just want to thank my tech, my tech man in the background there, Jerry Royce. God bless you. Thank you for just being there and believing in me and believing in what God has birthed in me to bring forth this show. So God bless you. God bless you, mighty man of God. And uh, we, we just going to sit back and we waiting for my girl to come into the room. But as we do that, let me just lift God up a little bit more. You know, Father God, we just thank you. We Thank you on today for for having such a wonderful, wonderful show that would embrace the arts and embrace what the arts is doing in the community, Lord, and that we would bridge them gaps between community who don't know God with the church, Father God. That's that's what it's all about. Lifting them up, lifting up the name above all names. We call it Jesus. Oh, Father God, we just thank you on today. Oh, Father God, I thank you that that you would you would be what everybody in this show would have you to be, Father God. Oh, Father God, thank you so much just for giving me another opportunity, another day with you to embrace, embrace these wonderful men and women of God that come on to this show. Oh, Father God, thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Mm, it's wonderful. It is Amen. wonderful. Amen. And, and we got my sister, my sister, Gail Campbell is on the line. Praise hey. God. Hey, Paula. <laughs> Listen. Listen, woman of God. You are so yes. incredible. I love you so much. Thank you so oh. much for having me on. I'm a big fan of yours. And, I, you know, it's just a great opportunity to be able to talk about my walk with the Lord. Because, you know, most of my interviews, we don't really get into that much so thank you so much sister oh anytime i you know it's a pleasure i I was telling you when i spoke to you that you just it you you really really are unique and i love that about you um your style you know um the way you come on stage and your presence is just so incredible in in God, you know. And I just uh, just want to keep encouraging you to be that woman that that woman that God has called you to be, that entertainer, that phenomenal woman, you know, that we speak about in the Christian realm. You are all that, and a bag of chips, Mama. I love Thank you. you. I, I, I'm blessed that you are on my show. I'm telling you, you're incredible. Thank you Thank sound you so much. Tell me, because you you are unique. There is no other. <laughs> I swear you are wonderful. <laughs> I'm so serious. I'm just so good. I, I'm still flipping for my conversation, girl. Tell oh, me. I, tell I was so I so needed that conversation the other day. Thank you so much for that. Uh, let me tell you something. Tell the listeners about Gail Campbell. Who is Gail Campbell? Well, who am I? I am uh, uh, just a woman who was born and raised in Newark, Essex County, really, um, Newark, Irvington, East Orange. And, um, you know, when you had my formative years, you know, in the crack era, which I think kind of shaped my perspective on things and, you know, had some hard things going on in my life. Um 
never knew that some of these hard things going on in my life and, you know, within my self-esteem and within my relationships, never realized that, you know, God would eventually use those things um, to birth a ministry in me and to have me talk about, you know, openly talk about those things. Um, You know, just really got serious about my singing within just a few years ago and just decided to uh, to get serious about it and felt like God is giving me another chance and, you know, told me to go forth and that he will be with me. And um, Ipkiss and I, who was my producer, Stanley Ipkiss, he produced the album Bloody Waters. We just been running every since and God has been opening doors, He's been making a way, He's been going before us, and um, He has been. T- he He just gave me permission. He said, "Go forth," mm. and He, you know, He said, "Go forth." He's given me permission, and I'm like, you, you know, like me and you talked about the other day. You know, sometimes my brothers and sisters in Christ, it can be confusing to them because they're like, you know, well. You're not a gospel singer, um, but you are a woman of God. You are a minister. How does that work? And, you know, but um, and you don't look like us, and you don't dress like us, but, you know, uh, so, you know, so sometimes there's that insecurity sometimes within me um, when I think about my brothers and sisters in Christ and what they might be thinking about me. But then I always consult with God, and God keeps just telling me, let me go forth. So that's it in the nutshell. Yeah, but that you you definitely said a mouthful because that that's what I told you the other night. That's what attracts me to you, um, because you're so unique, and one would misunderstand <laughs> what they're seeing if not careful. Um, and and this, you are a prime example of when we say do not judge. Judging is is. God's uh, thing. We should not just mm-hmm. and 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 look at things from the eyesight of things. You understand what I'm saying? Um, right. You, you got to be careful how you do that thing because you don't know. You, no, we don't know your walk. Hello, you know. Right. Um, we don't know what you've been through. You, you understand? You just you just right. said a mouthful right right here, and and people don't understand and and would want to question just because of what they see. You know what I'm saying? With the natural eye. But we are taught as Christians, you have to look deeper. You have to go into the spirit realm to right. check you out. You see what I'm saying? You, you, what I love about you is that you mandate that people have to look a little harder. And that's what God wants sometimes. Sometimes we are just so judgmental as a people. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And sometimes, you know, it, it, that, that just don't, that don't, that don't say Christianity to me. You know what I'm saying? saying where you would just look at something and say boom that's what it is instead of really getting to know that person getting to know that that singer getting to know that entertainer like living with them for a minute you understand what i'm saying right and i really love that i love that i embrace that about you because that's you know the, that, that's what it's about yes and you know what's funny uh you know um even when i'm not in um show mode or anything like that and i'm just you know, you know, being myself, I still kind of stick out, right? So mm-hmm. it's funny. So I can, I, I realize that sometimes I can walk into a church and when there's people who don't know me, who aren't familiar with me, you know, I can see the judgment in their eyes, you know, sometimes. And then when I get up there and I open my mouth and they feel that anointing of God, <laughs> and then, you know, you kind of yeah. see it. You, yeah, you can see, you can see, like, okay, hold up, all right. So that's why, and you know, I and I thank and praise God because I never have to. Do, even though sometimes I do feel insecure, sometimes I do think about what people think of me, but God always, always defends me. I don't have to open my mouth. I don't have to say anything. Amen. I don't have to try to explain myself. God. God fights my battles. God says he always like, you know what, girl, you just be you. I will show people who you are. 
I will show people your heart. Amen. You don't have to Amen. do that. That's not even your Amen. battle. You just go forth and do what I told you to do. Woo! And I will show people who you are. And people Glory. don't even realize that, you know, I always get described, you know, because God take me into a lot of different spaces. Some of these spaces are not holy, okay? But God take me Amen. into a Amen. lot of these spaces. And, you know, I'm always prayed up and when I my prayer is always with God when I stand up before the people and I open my mouth I pray they feel your power some of them might not even know that they feel in you but let them feel your power Lord let them have an encounter with you and you know that's what I always get I always get people saying I you know I felt this all through my body I felt good Goosebumps. I felt the power, and I know that that's the anointing of God. Yeah, even, Lord. even, even in, even in my secular songs, like you know, certain things as a Christian, I will not, you know, a lot of projects I had to turn down. Certain subject matter I won't sing because of my, 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 my walk with the Lord. Um, so I don't like make songs about sex or anything like that. But I do talk about my real life, you. Know? You know, I talk about me as a person and, you know, things that I go through and things that I think of in my journey. And um, even in well, as I'm singing those songs, that's just about my life. God's power is in it. Yeah, his yeah. power is in it. And, and, you know, I'm just I just I'm so thankful. Like, you know, as I think about it right now, I just um, I'm just so grateful. He's an awesome guy. He's a way maker when it's in his own way. We seem yes. so lost and confused. Father God, he just knows <laughs> how to oh, bring us out yes, of the Lord. Lord. And, that, and that's really what this show is all about. You know, the test, the test that we go through in life that takes us to that testimony, takes us on that spiritual walk with him. Yes. And, and I tell you, there's nothing like that test. That's why our testimonies is everything. God yes. says, tell where you've been. <laughs> what, what led you to me? You know, because that's going to help somebody. And, and we now, see Sis, Let me ask you this. Have you ever, like, my whole album, Bloody Waters, is my testimony about a season in my life. <laughs> and <laughs> it, get, it gets kind of dark it get, because that's, that's the truth. You know, it, it got. It, 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 you know, it, it got. I, it was angry. Some at one point during making the album, one of the songs came across very angry because that's where I was. But as I finished the album, you know, I end in victory, victory in the Lord, knowing that He's the lifter of my head. And but um, sometimes people, sometimes Christians, I notice don't don't want to acknowledge that we get freaking angry and they don't want to acknowledge that you know what I wasn't you know this is part of my testimony and they want me to um clean it up and make it more um put it in a nice Christian package but I'm like but that's not where I was I was in a very bloody waters kind of chronicles when I was in a very very unholy relationship and what it almost did to me you know, mm-hmm. that it almost killed me. It took me into a dark place. It took me into, I was depressed. And when, you know, when, when that man left me, I was angry. I was cursing angry, okay? So, mm-hmm. and all of that stuff came out in the album, and I didn't mean for it to. I didn't mean for the, song, for the album to tell my story, but as an artist, and I'm just writing, it was just coming out of me it was becoming making the album became a therapy and in and, and when I listen to it in its entirety I can kind of see all of my as I was getting stronger and stronger and stronger mm-hmm. until I until God brought me to a place where I can declare that I made it out you know Amen. and um but yeah like sometimes you know 
you know, I I I worry like <laughs> I was like, what are they gonna think when they hear <laughs> like this? Oh, Reverend Gail can't be angry like that. Reverend Gail can't be talking like that. <laughs> I'm like, well, I was mad. <laughs> Reverend Gale, okay, you 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 had that task, and you had to show folks where you come from, and 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 again, we we have to go through the we have to go through it, you know, and why not let folk know what you've been through, you know, because yeah. you got folk out there, listeners right now that's in that storm right now, right. and yeah. and you are showing them, you are the testimony, okay, you are the test that. <laughs> This can be you, too, if you believe and trust God. Mm-hmm. Amen. I mean, Amen. You are that for them. And, and, and that's why I'm saying I'm so drawn to you because it's like you, you have such a strong presence. And um, as a saint, you know, I was told by, by pastors and ministers, you ain't, you ain't ready. You know, they ain't ready for you. I mean, you know, you, you too raunchy and raw and in the face. You know, you too loud and boisterous. You know, you gonna run folk off. I was literally told that. And I said, the mm. devil is alive. Because mm. there's folks that need that kind of uh, attention. You know, there's, there's right. folks that ain't gonna listen to that mampy pampy stuff that oh, exactly. And, and, it, and yes. not wrong with it. <laughs> they're not wrong with it, but God's sending you to a different group. What? I'm, I'm a warrior, boo boo. We warriors. We mm-hmm. going into the, we going into them rough places. You know, what I'm, saying? I'm not saying that others are not, and I'm not, you know, questioning right. nobody the way that right. they do their thing that God has given to them. But you ain't gonna question my thing. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that, and that's why I'm telling you, when me and you spoke, just looking at your videos and everything, it just was. It was amazing. It, it it was amazing. We we will be on this line for two hours. So I I'm telling you because you I, you speak to me. You speak to me because you are me. You know what I'm saying? Mm. We we are sisterhood on, on a real yes. thing. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I, I like it real. I I cannot settle for anything less than that. Less yes. than that, sis. So when when talking to you, you know what I'm saying? Yes, I, I know where you at when you say that. You know sometimes I even question myself. Still, because yes. we still are work in progress. Listen, yes. we still working and trying to get to that that mark that God has laid before us. We still walking. We ain't totally delivered from everything. God's right. time is God's time. It ain't about man's time. Yes. Listen, we going have a church up in here. You know yes, what I'm and then I realized that one of the things that um, I'm experiencing that's drawing people is because. You know, they can see my vulnerability. They can see, you know, that, that I press toward the mark. I don't try to hide, you know, where I am. And, you know, um, I, it, it's funny because, you know, I realize that a lot of people see me as like this strong, powerful woman. But then, you know, when we sit down and we talk and we keep it real, and I'm like, you know what? No, like every day I got to encourage myself to be myself. Every day I got to tell myself that I am fearfully and wonderfully me. I sometimes on my lunch break, I just sit down and I just write what God said about me because I have to keep reminding myself because, yes. you know, I have, I have come from a background where, you know, I, I was always told, you know, that it was something wrong with me. And those things mm. made a lasting impact that, you know, I had to be this and I had to do this. Even making this album was such a walk by faith that nobody could understand. And everybody wanted to tell me how to do it. Well, I just had to go and just block everything off and just do it. Because, you know, I had, yeah, I, I just had to just do it and I had to block out all the opinions because yeah. people like, you know, my self-esteem has been so assaulted over my yeah. life that every single day, every single day, I can't miss a day. If I miss a day, I feel it. I Every yeah. single day, I got to declare and decree over my life, who God says I am. Yeah. 
And I got to bind up the enemy and every trick and everything that he tries to do to pull me back into that place of doubt. Hey. So yes, yes. when I when I tell people that, like, listen, I don't wake up feeling like Superwoman every day. You know that yes. I gotta I gotta make sure I cut out some time to 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 pour into myself, yes. so I can yes. pour into myself, so I can be who God has called me to be. You know because um yeah and and you know so I I realized that you know when 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 we get that when we get that transparent. That's when we make the most change, you know, and I've had to have, you know, I've had to, you know, the Lord had to minister to me, like, you know, Gail, you know, you're speaking to people who, 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 who probably never step foot in the church except for a funeral. Yeah. You, you know, people are, people are relating to your story. So people in the church are relating to your story. Old people are relating to your story. Young people are, because we all have been there yes yes, yes. we all have and been in a place where a relationship That's yes right. where the enemy has tried to That's destroy right. us yes. Yes. yes you know and, that, and and this is why your ministry is so important sis this is why your ministry is so important because you go into those places and you and you minister to these lost souls and God don't want us to just be complacent and sit into the church. We need to be the church. We need to go out into those places and don't, don't say, oh, I just can't go there because this is beneath me. What? Come on now. Come on yeah. now. I mean, honestly, we, we have to be serious. We have to do real kingdom building. And to be a real kingdom builder, you got to go into the highways and the byways. You have to reach these people for where they are and bring yes. them. Yeah. Okay. And let them know that, you know what, we, we have all, we all can experience, we all have certain experience that we all can relate to. You know, That's right. it's, it's so funny because it's, um, when, when the album dropped, I got so many inboxes and text messages. It was like, yo, this is my story. This is my, <laughs> A testimony. Yo, this goes, this going out to that baby father that left me and my child and how I felt about that. This go, no, and now I, every day, people are telling me every day I put on, you know, bloody waters declaring that you won't destroy me. Every day I'm playing victory, saying that I got the victory. Every day I'm playing, that's what you had. You know, it's too bad to make sure that I'm, that, that, you know, that I'm, that I know that I'm the prize, you know? So mm. I'm like, you know, it was hard for me to make the album cause I didn't want to be so transparent, but now I understand why I had to. And um, yeah. it feels good. It feels really, yeah. really, really good. Well, let me let these listeners hear a little bit of what the feel good is all about. Um, the first song I want to bring to them is victory. And can mm. you set that up for us before we go to that? What, what is victory? What what well, brought you the victory? Well, the album um, starts off with um, Bloody Waters, and that's my declaration. That's me fighting for my life, saying that I will not mm. be destroyed. And it was that, you know, when I mm. did that song, I was in a very, very low place, but I was fighting for my life. No matter how low I was, I always had enough yeah. sense to keep praying. And God kept holding me up. So by the victory is the grand finale of the album that's the last big song on the album and it kind of I, I, it's a journey to to get to the revelation that I have the victory in Jesus that I am victorious and that God yeah. always had me so I, I've never sang so hard in my life but when yeah. I got to that song the last song I sang that song with everything in me because I was declaring my victory. And let me tell you, I, it's not like I felt, um, honestly, it's not like I had it all together and I 
didn't have my moments and still wasn't struggling in some area, but I knew that God was bringing me out. I knew I was delivered. Mm-hmm. I knew of what God had yeah. brought me me from. I know that God has snatched me out of the clutches of the enemy who mm. wanted me to kill myself. Mm. He mm. wanted me to mm. kill myself when I when I was in the beginning of that album. So so to toward the end I knew that I was gonna be all right. So that's the that's mm. the setup for that song Victory. Well praise God. We're gonna go to victory right now. You're listening to Do or Slide Worldwide Podcast. I am so that you know yes, that's, I that, know that's the kind of thing that you are. That, that big belted thing, I like that. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, bring it, <laughs> bring it. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. You know, and I'm glad we started with that because that that shows our listeners that you know it was a deliverance 
and and and, and every day every day we we get some kind of you know deliverance you know people don't understand deliverance is a day-to-day minute-to-minute second-to-second thing sis ha! Yes, you know yes, deliverance is. don't all happen at one time you know what I'm yes. saying? like the church try to portray you know what i'm saying we, we we do it a bit at a time you know because we we yes. built up so much you know what i'm saying so it's gonna take a minute to break it back you know bring it back to the norm and, and make it about god's business so you know so yes. it's bit by bit, and and I thank you for that. I thank you for expressing that. You know what I'm saying? Because and, yeah, it's it's a victory walk. It's a walk. You you understand? Yes. People don't understand this thing. It's a Christian victory walk. You know what I'm saying? And that and that's like I said, from moment to moment. You know what I'm saying? It don't happen just overnight. You know. And uh, the mess that we are, you know, and the mess that God has delivered us from. Uh, it took yes. a minute to get there. Praise God. Yes. <laughs> it took a yes. minute <laughs> for that, me to be that, that mess that, that you see. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's going to take a minute for God to clean it up. But, but you know, be patient because I'm a work in progress. <laughs> we are work right. in progress. Amen. Praise Amen. God. I tell you, yeah. I tell you, so man, I tell you, I love you. I love you. I love you know what I'm saying? Too. I can't, I got to come to a live performance, man. You, you, oh, you man, just, you that w- I would be so honored. Oh man, I would you be floored so me. So honored. <laughs> Amazing, Miss Newick. Newick, that's right. People <laughs> always talk about Newick, but there's wonderful stuff in Newick, boo boo. Yes, there's it is. Yes, it you is. Got to look. You know, there's yes, some there's right. some diamonds in the rough, as they say. You know what I'm saying? But God, hey, he 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 is bringing them forth. He is bringing them forth, and I'm just I just so thankful that you chose to be. You could have been anywhere tonight, and I just thank God that you chose to be here with us today. No, thank um, you so much for having I, me. You don't know how important and how pivotal in my career this interview is to talk about this aspect of myself and to talk about the bigger picture of what God is doing with me. So thank you so much. Oh, no. They, the listeners have to know, you know, um, your fan base people may know, but these new listeners that you're gaining on tonight need to know that you are real. This is this is real Christianity. This is real, authentic, you know, uh, where you can talk about where you've been and where God is taking you to. See, that's the kind of saint that God is raising up, and that's the kind of standards he's raising up on today. You know what I'm saying? And and we bowl in your face, Christians. We, we, you know what I'm we ain't got time to mampy pampy this thing. Jesus, God, it's soon to come. Hello. So we, are, we got to be in the faith. We got to be doing what God has called us to do, not playing with this thing. We're not playing that's with this right. thing, sis. So I do. I just thank you. I just thank you for making this show what it is on today, Lord. Thank you Please. so much. Um, um, you know, and I, I know you got some stuff to say to listen. What what would you tell someone that you just meet about your walk and and what they would need to do to become like you? Because there may be people that just say, you know, I want to be like her. Oh. You know what I'm saying? What, what would you tell them? I would tell them that the, the biggest fight I've ever had in my life was the fight to believe that I was good enough, that Mm. I didn't have to have a persona, that I didn't Mm. have to have an image that I hide behind. So (laughs) as soon as I found the courage to just be Gail, and whatever Gail is, you know, Gail is, you know, Gail is, is nerdy, Gail is silly, Gail don't got it all together. Gail, you know, Gail is just Gail. And once I realize that I'm, I can, I'm just going to be brave enough to be myself mm. and I don't have to try to impress anybody and I don't have to yeah. try to, I don't have to try to be a, a, this, this bad chick. I don't have to try to be the supermodel. I can just be, yeah. you know, once I see, cause God can't do nothing with you when you won't, um, when you're hiding. You know, mm. like when you're hiding and you, when you're not, you know, we got to come before God and say, listen, this is me. You know, it's exhausting trying to be what people want you to be. 
Yes. So when I, my best advice I would give anybody, whether they are in music or whether they just, you know, just living their everyday life, when you find yes. the courage to be yes. who you are and trust that yes. God didn't make no mistakes with you, <laughs> you will be surprised what can happen in in your life because when we have the courage to just be ourselves, we give other people the courage to be themselves. Wow. I never (laughs) knew that I could just be good enough. I used to, back in the day, when I first started getting serious about about doing music professionally, I had a stage name. You know, my name was Sister. Now, I'm (laughs) not opposed to stage names. Stage names are are fine, but for me... This she was a whole other persona. Mm. You know, she was a whole other persona. I didn't know then that, you know, those were spirits and all of that other stuff. I know that stuff now, but you know, I she was a bad motor scooter. This 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 <laughs> persona. Her name was Sister. That was my stage. She was she was she was the bad motor scooter. She's a, she was the baddest, and you know, and, and that's that's really not who I, I am. <laughs> you know, like, I, like I'm bad in my own right, but that girl was fictional bad. Like, you know, she mm. she she you, you know she pooped nicely. So um, <laughs> so you know, but it became once once I started to grow in my walk with the Lord. God said, "With that in her, you know that, right?" And I was like, mm. really? And he was like, mm. yeah. And I had stopped. I I stopped doing um, music during, you know, as I was growing in the Lord. And he was like, yeah, that's that's a rap. That's over, you know. Mm. And yeah. um, when I came back into music, I, I I explained to the Lord, well, I don't know how to be on stage without being that. And he was mm. like, he said, well, we about to fix that. You really mm. embrace everything that Gail is. And when I started to embrace Gail, the world started to embrace me. So my biggest advice is trust what God says about you, that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. That you know, that, that you are, he loves you with an everlasting love. That mm. you are mm. good enough what he put in you he is such an awesome god he never had to make a duplicate he never had to make it as old as the world is he never had to do anything two times wow. nothing is a copy mm. on this planet mm-hmm. so that means yeah. that you the world needs you the world don't need another beyonce the world yeah. don't need hey. another rihanna the World yes. need another Mary J. Blige. The Ooh. world need you. So once Gail I started Gail. believing that, <laughs> yeah. Once I started believing that, God started doing some amazing things. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Well, let me tell you something. There's no other. <laughs> he broke the mold when he made you, girl. God is so good. He is so, so good, good and merciful for Him to give us a you. I think. I thank him. I, I mean that. I, I am so blessed by this interview. That means and so I am blessed, you. blessed beyond measures that I've gotten a chance to experience what God is doing with you. You know, thank you so much. Um, I, I would love and be honored that if you would just take us to to in prayer into your and lead us into your next single, which is Don't Know Love. Amen. All right. So before I go into prayer. I just want to explain a little bit about Don't Know Love. Don't Know Love was the second single off the album, and video was being made right now. And and Don't Know Love was um, after the ultimate rejection of the man I was soul tied to, and the man Mm. I had made an idol of, the man I had dethroned God and I throned him. And um, Mm. so now I'm going. I'm I'm at that place where I'm, I'm, I'm my heart is broken, and I'm talking mm. about that experience and um and and 
Yeah, just to let y'all know, Father God, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, Lord, I just thank you. I thank you, Father God, for your goodness your mercy. I thank you for your grace, your loving kindness. I thank you, Lord God, for keeping us, Lord God, when we couldn't even keep ourselves, Lord God. Thank you for being a provider, a way maker, a friend. Thank you for being a husband, Lord God. Thank you for being a confidant. Thank you for holding us in the hollow of your hand. Thank you, Lord God, for not allowing us to fall when the enemy was trying to get us. Lord God, as we're going into this next song, Lord God, my prayer, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father yes. God, is that you show people, Lord God, that even no matter what they're going through, no matter how t- uh, how tight the soul tie is, Lord God, that you're able, Lord God, to deliver, Ooh. you're able, Lord God, to set us free, yes. you're able, Lord God, to heal our hearts. Lord God, I pray, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that they begin to look at the situation they're in, Lord God, and begin to see those things that are not as though they are, Lord God, and knowing, Father God, that this is just part of their testimony, that they will have a new thing, Lord God, going on in their life. Because your word declares, Father, that our eyes haven't even seen, your ears haven't even heard, it hasn't even entered into our heart the things that you have prepared for. For us. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, if there's anybody out there whose heart is broken tonight, Lord God, Father God, I pray, Lord God, that this conversation give them some hope, Lord God, that they know, Lord God, that this is just a chapter of their life, a chapter that you're going to use for your glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. And it is so. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. You're listening to Dear Slide Worldwide Podcast. You say you found another love, and you say she's everything. So hard that you find that secret thing that lives so deep in me. But you couldn't see me, and you made me so easy. You don't know love. You don't know love. You don't know.
Praise the Lord. Woo! <laughs> my sister. My sister. <laughs> okay, we just going to take this time out just so that folks can get to know how to reach out to you. I know folks okay. want to know how to get to the whole of you. <laughs> yes, thank you so, so much. Um, I thank you so much for having me on and for all your all your listeners. Um, again, y'all, my name is Gail Campbell. And the name of the album is called Bloody Waters, and it's available on all the major music outlets. And um, you can get me on social media. Um, on Facebook, it's Gail Campbell. Um, on Instagram, it's Gail underscore Campbell 01. That's Gail underscore Campbell 01, and that's spelled G-A-I-L. And on Twitter, it's Bloody Waters GC. And the whole album is produced by superhuman producer Stanley Ipkiss, who's also from Newark. And if you would like to follow Ipkiss, he is King Ipkiss 26. Sis, thank you so much for everything. Man, man. I, I, I look, I'm, I'm just thankful and I praise God for the new sisterhood, the new friendship. Because you know, uh, I've been praying for the Lord to send me people into my life um, who can, you know, can be, um, you know, because you know how this business is. You know, you need your prayer warriors. You, <laughs> you know what I mean? Your people who yeah. stand with you and understand what's going on in the spirit realm. Yes. So I thank yes. you so much, yes. sis. I love you. Oh, I love you too. And I, I tell you, you ain't getting rid of me. <laughs> I <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, it's all that. It's all now. We gonna be doing some. What, yeah, listen, I'm gonna be coming to Jersey. I was living in Jersey about a year ago, so God is good. I was in Newark. I was living in Newark. So, but I, I tell you, I will honestly. Um, I, I just so blessed. Uh, by this interview, and again, listeners, you have been truly blessed by this woman of God. Um, that have come through the storm, the test, and she Thank has you, some Thank testimony. You, Lord. As you. As you just heard, I mean, God is so good, you know. Uh, definitely keep me in touch. I'd love to let folk know where you're performing at and, and where, when your next projects are coming out, um, you know. And we just bless God for bloody water, you know. Um, Thank the you. That, that, that's the experience, baby. You know, yes, God is, is good. <laughs> He has a way of blessing. And I just thank you so much for you, uh, again, coming on this show. You didn't have to. So I bless God that you did and you are and you're here with us on tonight. And and it's again, I will pleasure and honor. I you back. We love you. We love you. Thank you, Thank Jerry you. Roy. Boy, Thank in you, the Jerry. <laughs> He's playing that music and bless you. You I mean it. You and uh allow me to, to open this forum up for those uh that are listening. Thank you so much, listeners. We love you. God bless you. Yes. God bless. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power of Devil X. You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. Hey, hey, hey. My name is.